Hello, our friends. I just finished my last Christmas painting for this season, and I'm in desperate need for something tropical. I really need something fresh. Let's go outside. I think maybe too fresh. <laughs> Well, green leaves, but I already painted them. Sun is shining. Well, this view is almost tropical, but this view, no. Okay, I will close my eyes. And I'm somewhere tropical. <laughs> and which flower associates with tropical places? For me, it is hibiscus. Today we'll be painting yellow hibiscus flower. Okay, I'm back. Stop dreaming, start painting. We will be needing ceramic palette, brushes, paper, paper towel, watercolors, and the watercolor mixes lemon yellow, Indian yellow, Indian yellow together with Senelia red, Indian yellow with Seb green, pearl and maroon, and pearl and violet. A very important thing when you are painting yellow subject, graphite lines should be as less as possible. They should be so thin and super transparent. When you are outlining your drawing, please do that very lightly because yellow pigment is super transparent and all the graphite lines will be vis visible even after many, many layers. Starting with watery layer and I'm applying lemon yellow to the whole surface except the little middle part where the stamens and entrance are. Be sure that after mixing watercolors your water is clean. So we have a very clean and nice first layer of lemon yellow color. While the surface is still wet, I'm adding a mix of Indian yellow together with Senelia red to the middle part, what we see in the reference. Everything is very transparent at the first layers of painting process. I'm not painting 100% as it is in the reference, super strong and vibrant colors. Everything is achieved by layers and very, very patient, transparent painting. Adding a little bit more of pearl and maroon to the middle part, where is the darkest place, adding darkness gradually. Let the paper dry for five to 10 minutes. When the paper is completely dry, erase the rest of the graphite lines that are still visible. That is possible if you are painting very transparently, you can still erase graphite lines, even when the layer is applied, but be 100, 1000% sure that your paper is completely dry. Otherwise you can damage the paper surface. Continuing with applying watercolor layers, now I'm separating petals. As I apply watercolors, after applying, I wash my brush, clean it in paper towel and smooth the applied layer of watercolors. We have a gradual transition from darker area to the lighter area. Full tutorial is available on my Patreon channel. The tutorial length is 50 minutes long from the beginning touches till the finishing brush strokes. The tutorial is in real time and with all the explanations of the painting process. If you want to level up your watercolor painting skills and enjoy the process, consider subscribing to my Patreon learning space. Tutorials are available to all painting levels. We are there, a very welcoming, loving and supporting community. We also have our private Facebook group where we share and encourage each other.
Layers after layers, I'm continuing to paint and add watercolors. With the tip of the brush, carefully painting around the stem and middle part. That will be painted separately. My brush strokes are super small to gradually add that darker pigment. But still, there are more layers to come to get a more realistic, more vibrant look. With round synthetic brush, applying transparent layer of Indian yellow to get more yellowish color to my painting and I'm constantly following the reference for guidances, for new details, for some color tones or tonal values, everything is in the reference. Adding more darkness to the middle part, carefully painting around the stamen. And again another layer of Indian yellow. Between the layers I wait for the paper to be completely dry. Watercolor paper can receive a lot of layers, only if you will wait between the layers so the paper can rest and then receive another layer of watercolors. If you will paint layer after layer, at one point paper will stop receiving and start to get a little grumpy. <laughs> Just give the paper a time to rest. Adding finishing touches to yellow hibiscus. We just finished this beautiful yellow hibiscus. If you got value from this video, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out my brand new weekly videos of watercolor tips and tricks, tutorials, also my art and creative journey. Please leave a comment. I really like to connect with you, to answer your questions, also just to get you know a little bit better each time. Hope you learned something new and see you in my next tutorials. Bye bye! A little update from my studio. I'm in the process of creating a new art space. We'll make a video and share with you how it went. Thank you.